Hey, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today we're going to be building an electric go-kart. Now, even though this electric go-kart is already going to be super cool and we're great, you're in luck because we're going to be going the extra step and adding a model rocket engine as a booster for this. Now, to start off the build, I found this go-kart frame laying around, and all it is was just a go-kart frame by itself. No motor, no pedals, no nothing. So I started off by spray painting it because it looks super rusty and super ugly, and I want this to look cool and chrome. Next, we're going to build a seat. So I start off with a piece of wood, and as you can see on the other side, I sanded it down just so we can get some spray paint to stick to it. And you'll see that in the next step. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put some nails in this to start off with. Once that's done, we can make sure it fits on our go-kart frame. As you can see, it fits pretty nice, but it looks kind of ugly. So I'm gonna get two spray paint colors and shake them up. Now it's time to start spray painting. I start with a base of red and we're going to cover the whole seat in red. And as you can see, it looks a little bit uneven, so I recommend you put a couple layers down on your go-kart. Now we're going to put some uh, lines of tape on it, and this is just to separate the black from the red, because we don't want it to, to overlap and we want some nice solid lines here where you can distinguish the white from the black from the red. Now we can peel the paint off and see what it looks like. As you can see, it leaves this awesome pattern, and you can even see where the mist sprayed over. And when we put it on the go-kart, it actually looks pretty awesome. So I'm pretty happy with this seat, so I'll leave it like that. Now we can flip it over, and we're going to have to put some screws. I go ahead and drill four screws into the bottom of the seat just to hold it into place. And this is what it comes out to look like. Now we want to set up the drive system. For that we're going to need a pulley and a motor. I'll start off by mounting the pulley to the wheel. For that I'm just going to use some screws. But in the end I found screws didn't work too well so I recommend you use bolts. The bolts held very well and uh, was what I found used in the end. Next we need to mount the motor into place. So for that I'm going to drill a couple holes. And once those holes are done, I'm going to put a piece of wood as a spacer in between and then I'm going to bolt the motor into place. Now you got to make sure that these bolts are pretty thick and have some pretty strong threads so that it stays in place and your motor doesn't really move around because the motor is going to have a lot of torque on it and a lot of force on it so it really needs to be in place well. Next we're going to add a belt and as you can see I start by attaching the bottom of it and then just roll the rest of it over. Now we need something to hold the batteries. So I get this piece of wood and I'm going to cut it into a shape that my battery holder is going to look like. Now this is the end part that I come out with. Now I need to attach some sides onto my battery holder to hold the batteries into place. So before drilling anything into place you should measure it out but I already have my measurements so I know this is exactly what I want. So I'm going to drill it into place and flip it over and as you can see this is the battery holder we come out with. Now I spray paint it black and then I'll make sure my batteries fit. For batteries I use 12 volt 12 amp batteries and I use 4 of them. So this comes out to about half a horsepower of battery power that I get supplied by my batteries. I'm going to wire them up in series because this motor that I have takes over 100 volts and in series these give me at least 48 volts. So realistically I can have this going much faster, probably over double the speed, but this is all I got for batteries so I'm going to use what I have. And now I wired in series with a switch and test the switch out to make sure the motor works. Now I can go ahead and slide the batteries under.
Next I'm going to drill a hole for the switch. You could mount the switch on the side if you wanted to, but I want this to look pretty cool. So I'm going to try getting the switch in, um, put it through a hole, and make sure it looks real nice and proper. Now that that's done, the go-kart's more or less ready for testing. I'm going to reattach the belt and then take it out for a test drive. I get my little brother to test it out while I film, and as you can see it works pretty well. So as you can see we drive up and down the street, we go down a hill and now we're going back up the hill. And the go-kart works just awesome. But we can't end here, we gotta soup it up. So I decide to add a rocket engine onto the back of the go-kart to serve as a boost. So here I go to my local hobby store and get these rocket engines used for model rockets. I'm going to find a metal tube that it fits in, this is going to serve as a housing for the rocket. Now I'm going to cut it to size. Once it's cut to size, I flatten one end out, and I'm going to use this flattened end for mounting. So I'll drill two holes in it that screws will eventually go through. Next I put two screws through those holes and I'm going to drill it in. And as you can see we have two uh, parts for the rockets, one on each side. Once that's in place we can set up the rockets. This here is a rocket and then inside of it I stick the ignition system. Now I stick the plug in the back of it and this all comes with the rocket. So if you buy your rocket you don't have to worry about those two, they will come with it. And once it's all set up, I'll stick it into the place. Now the way the ignition system works is you just have to put electricity through it. So all I'm going to do is wire it up to some wires and then wire the two rockets together so that when, when one goes off, both of them go off. And to do that, I just wire it in parallel. And then from there, I'll just wire it up with a switch and hook it up to the batteries that I'm using to power my go-kart. Now we're going to test the rockets out. Let's see how they work. As you can see, we fired that rocket a little too early, so let's go ahead and try it once more. Oh, and as you can see, those rockets look pretty sick. They would definitely scare someone off in a race and give you a nice little boost. 
Now we go ahead and drive the go-kart for the rest of the day, and if you watch to the very end, you can see one little crash we had. Thanks for watching to the end of the video, now it'd be awesome if you could like and subscribe. And I'm going to be doing something special, if we get 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a go-kart race and designing another new go-kart to race against this one. So definitely like and subscribe this, it'd be super appreciated. Thanks.